Hi, I'm here in this beautiful location where millions of flies are attacking me. So let me read this to you while tiny wildlife tries to eat my face. Some unexpected news. An exchange of thousands of nuclear missiles between the USA and Russia would probably be fine. So there it is the worst thing anyone has ever said. I wrote this earlier today, uh, last night I was on Twitter trying to work out what's going on in the Ukraine and I came across some people talking about the idea of using nuclear weapons. Look at the flies, they're all over me, it's beautiful, it's Australia. And what people had to say about using nuclear weapons really blew my mind, so I wrote this and now I'm reading it. I've over explained it already, haven't I? I've ruined it. I'm gonna upload this, but you don't have to watch. That's actually too um, self-deprecating, self isn't it? That's, yeah, I've gotta stop doing that. According to my new favorite people, concerns about nuclear war are lies invented by hysterics as a cowardly excuse to abandon Ukraine to its fate. And then I wrote a bit here about how I'm just going to take a, a moment to crank up some heavy metal. To help me survive this devastating journey through internet God Emperor logic. So to continue, despite wanting to lie face down, what are these cranium warriors synapsing about? According to people who type things that make my eyes bulge uncomfortably, there are many myths about how nuclear weapons work. One is that, that they destroy everything. These staunch champions point to photos of Hiroshima that show some buildings kind of sort of still standing. There's nothing alive in the buildings. They have no windows or doors, but bricks are seen to be standing on other bricks. So that's the Hiroshima myth busted. A nuclear war would cause a nuclear winter thanks to vaporized nations blotting out the sun. Wow, imagine being a cloud. Gorgeous. Anyway, this is just what I remember from growing up during the Cold War. Fuck off, flies. This is just what I remember from growing up during the Cold War. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm acting out the pieces I'm reading it, aren't I? Wait a minute. Maybe nuclear weapons are Cold War propaganda. Yes. It's probably all a hoax, as demonstrated by the US war criminal annihilation of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. What actually happened was 110,000 Japanese human beings set fire to themselves to make atomic bombs look bad. Don't bother trying to follow the logic here, by the way. Like, I wrote this, and it's great, you know? It feels weird to read it, though. Like, read it out loud to a camera. Christ. I'm giving you too much inside, like, you know, behind-the-scenes um, shit that you don't care about. Let's continue. This nuclear winter would be the end. And not just for people who like frowning at their phone and those who refer to their anxiety as my anxiety. Those not killed by toxic and even harmful fallout drifting around the globe would eventually die in the endless winter along with most planetary life. After whatever amount of time, let's say eons, time doesn't matter to a human race that has chosen death, life would bounce back and begin once more its hateful journey toward oblivion. At least according to the new religion I'm joining today, because I can't do this anymore. I'm looking behind me thinking a car is coming. A car can't drive down this road. There's bollards back there, but you know, you can't beat paranoia for laughs. I f what was that? At least according to the new religion I'm joining today because I can't do this alone. Oh, gold. Understandably, as Ukraine faces destruction, some fear that the world's response isn't insane enough. 
why not drop a cheeky tasting plate of small nukes on advancing Russian columns of tanks? In fact, what would be wrong, really, with erasing a Russian city from existence? Surely this would be much more practical than talking to the Russians and asking them what they want. The time for diplomacy is over. Some sweet nuke action would bring the Russians crawling back to the negotiating table. Which is not a contradiction, you simply fail to comprehend how powerful, but also not dangerous, nuclear weapons can be. I mean, you know, the whole inspiration, if you can call it that, for this piece is that people are suggesting that the threat of what the, the, the picture we have of what nuclear weapons will do to, to the human race is overstated. I, 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 I've got to stop explaining myself. Never complain, never explain, never complain, never explain. Nuclear missiles are like pepper. The waiter comes by to grind it over your food and you simply gesture politely so he stops just before humanity has been wiped out. Assholes are building a case for a wider land war in Europe which according to the prophecy and normal books would be World War III. They raised the possibility of nukes because when you want something, industrial mass slaughter, you ask for something more, total extinction. I mean, I think so. As with Putin, we need to ask these people what they really want. I'm sorry everyone, to save the world, we are going to have to talk to idiots we want to Hiroshima house brick in the back of the skull. Hang, hang in there with me, will you? I'm fucking... Or, or we could build a worldwide anti-war movement. Let's be honest. Oh, to be honest, I don't know what feels more potentially annoying. If... <coughs> fly in the mouth. If I go to a peace rally and anyone breaks out an acoustic guitar, I will smash it over my own head. Christ, a fucking peace movement. I've been banging that drum non-stop for a week now, but now it's becoming real to me. And will there be hippie drummers? Let's all die instead. It is impossible to guess that the people talking up nukes are to a man and Hillary supporter residents of the USA. These people would simply cease to be in the very first wave of mushroom clouds. It would be almost peaceful for them. The rest of the world would spend the rest of our short lives wishing we'd nuked these cunts a long time ago. These assholes are arguing that maybe nuclear winter wouldn't be a thing. There's only one way to really find out, so sure, let's risk it, because we're in a movie, and movies end with newly cleansed, suburb-raised people who tuck in their t-shirts, exiting the cinema, and being unable to find their cars because they have no reality perception. Wander into traffic, you fucks. See you at the extremely irritating peace rallies. Anyone who hands a flower to a cop is cancelled. Okay.